Welcome to Operation Outreach, a new program to highlight the services available to military veterans right here in Central Florida. I'm Fred Robinson, Chair of the Orange County Mayor's Veterans Advisory Council. I'm pleased to be joined by Norris Henderson, the manager of Mission United. Mission United serves a central contact connecting veterans with services and community support they need. Norris, thank you for joining me this morning. Thank you for having me. How are you today? Doing great, thank you. Good. Well, I'd like to ask you, um, what is Mission United's areas of operation? So Mission United areas of operation is Orange, Osceola, and Seminole counties. Okay. And who are Mission United's community partners? So some of Mission United's community partners are Homeless Service Network, the Camaraderie Foundation, um, Orange County Legal Aid, as well as Seminole County Legal Aid and Osceola Legal Aid. Uh, some of our schools are Aviation Institute of Maintenance, Orange Technical Institute, uh, Universal Technical Institute, and Valencia College as well. That's a lot of, lot of resources and a lot of community services. Yes. There. Great. And tell us about Mission United staff. So yes, Mission United has two case managers that, that serves uh, our veterans. Um, they provide uh, resources and follow-ups to make sure that the veterans receive the resources that they're seeking. Uh, the case managers can help assist veterans with walking through their applications. Uh, again, and just making sure that not only the services that they call for, but other services that they may qualify for. And could you explain some of those other services? Yes, so we provide, we, we are a referral uh, program so we can provide services uh, sometimes we do direct services uh, to our veterans uh, for for example the lift ride share program uh, sometimes utility assistance sometimes rent mortgage and utilities those are some of the services that we have but most importantly we want to make sure that the veterans get connected to those resources that they so well deserve and, and qualify for are there any educational programs? There are educational programs. One of the educational programs is called the Mission United Employability Scholarship Fund. Um, a, we can assist a veteran with paying for their licensing and certifications at those partner schools that I just mentioned. Well, that's, um, that's very important because that's a big challenge that a lot of our veterans have. They don't have the money to pay to go. They, they want to go to get, to get certified, but that's where the challenge comes in, the money up front. Yes, many times veterans have exhausted all their VA educational benefits. That's where we can come in and assist with them getting, paying for and getting their certification and licensing uh, to gain employment. What other things does uh, Mission United do for veterans? Well, one thing we do, we go out in the community, we collaborate with other veteran organizations, we go out into the community, we do outreach, um, we do different projects, uh, the Thanksgiving, uh, giveaway project, uh, community baby shower. Uh, there's veterans that take advantages of those resources. We just want to make sure that we're there for the veterans to make sure that they have the resources uh, that they're asking for. Okay, and of uh, the, the community outreach and collaboration with different organizations, can you touch on a couple of the different um, outreaches that you did and um, how meaningful they were to you and to the veterans that they served? Absolutely, one, one that comes to mind, Fred, is the um, commemoration of the uh, Vietnam uh, 50th commemoration at the Lake Nona VA. Um, there were several hundred veterans that showed up and it was um, a great opportunity to show the veterans that the community appreciate their services during Vietnam. Many veterans uh, shed tears during that ceremony. Uh, we had local uh, elected officials there to welcome them. We did a pinning ceremony to pin the uh, Vietnam pin on them. So it was a great, a great uh, showing uh, of the veterans that the community is very appreciative of them. Yeah, I, um, I actually served um, during Vietnam myself and um, it was a, a long time coming, but it was, a, it was a great opportunity. And from what I understand, that was the biggest turnout that they ever had at the War Memorial at the VA hospital since it was built in over 10 years. Um, was there any other um, community event that, that actually you'd like to share as well? Yes, I think one, one of the things that is, is giving back, we have veterans that participate in our Thanksgiving giveaway. Um, um, as you know, many veterans uh, need food. Um, so just serving those veterans uh, in different capacities, uh, the Thanksgiving project that Heart of Florida United Way puts on, uh, Miss United is involved with that as well, that um, just shows giving back. And uh, those veterans are very uh, appreciative of those services that we provide especially those in need. Yes. And how is Mission United funded? So that's a great question. Mission United is funded internally, but also grants. Uh, we receive grants from different organizations. 
We receive individual donations, um, people that want to give back to veterans that serve their country. Um, that's mainly how uh, Miss United is funded, uh, again, through grants and, and donations and, again, internally. With the um, current challenges that are going on out here with um, housing, does Mission United have any resources or any collaboration with partners that it can assist, um, assist veterans with their uh, rent? So from time to time, we, we do get grants from uh, our partner organizations that assist veterans with rent, mortgage, and utilities. At this time, we do not have uh, any direct assistance for that, but that's not to say that we won't have that in the future. Uh, we, we are going to be providing utility assistance here in the near future to assist veterans with high utility uh, that can't make their payments. Yeah, because it's, un it's unfortunate, but um, um, right now when you, when you look at the challenges with the um, recession going on and some people are uh, underemployed even though they're working 40 hours a week, I can see how the different resources that you have um, benefit people. And um, what makes you proud for working for Mission United? One thing that makes me proud, Fred, is, make, is seeing the veterans uh, enjoy the resources and the benefits that they so rightfully deserve. Um, that's what makes me proud. Um, a lot of times veterans, um, you know, they don't understand all the resources that they qualify for and just walking them through that to make sure that they understand what they qualify and the resources that they can receive, uh, that really makes me proud and to see the veterans you know, uh, go on and, and improve from those resources that they receive. Well, from NARS, from um, the relationship that we have and what you do in the community, um, I see that you're fulfilling your purpose. And with, with that particular purpose, it's not about money. It's about changing lives. And um, I really appreciate uh, you taking the time out today to have this conversation and to further elaborate so everybody can know what Mission United has for our particular veterans um, population and the services and uh, different resources that are available. So thank you again for uh, attending and letting me interview you today. Thank you for having me. It's good to know that there are organizations like Mission United in Central Florida helping our veterans and their families navigate and connect with the many agencies and services out there to offer help. Mission United is making a difference and when we'll come back, We'll hear from an Air Force veteran who was struggling with finding transportation. Hear how Mission United connected him with just the help he needed. 